round five of the Parenting Roundabout podcast for the week of February 17th. I'm Nicole Erdix, and I'm here with Terry Morrow. Hello. And Catherine Haleko. Hello. Today we're taking a break from talking and complaining and obsessing and instead shouting out other things that people are doing that we think you'll find as useful or as enjoyable as we do. And we call this our Roundabout Roundup. Um, now, I don't know about you pet owners out there, particularly dog owners, <laughs> but <laughs> I do get my dog groomed. However, there are moments when she absolutely reeks <laughs> and, and we just can't take it anymore. And we, it's just, you know, the, we're kind of in between the grooming sessions and she has a short coat, which is kind of, you know, you'd think that she wouldn't be too smelly, but... <laughs> She does end up getting quite smelly, and I uh, discovered this product on Amazon, and it's a doggy deodorant. (laughs) Do you put it under her little armpits? (laughs) (laughs) One would think, based on the name, but no, it's a body spray. Oh, (laughs) jeez. (laughs) <laughs> and it it's great it smells so nice and it does last a few days <laughs> and it's non it, it doesn't seem to irritate her skin and she's highly sensitive to you know shampoos and things yeah. that come up you know come near her skin and this doesn't seem to irritate it and it smells like peppermint and spearmint and she just smells so delicious and yummy when <laughs> she's not highly sensitive to somebody tells telling her she smells bad <laughs> well, she does, and she pouts, and then that's what I, <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> that's why she's happy to get sprayed. That's why she's happy for me to put the odor, deodorant on her, because then she smells pretty and gets all sorts of love and attention and kisses. You see, so. this any dog I've ever had, she would immediately then run out into the yard and roll around in dirt. <laughs> that doesn't oh, happen. No, not mine. She thinks she's a princess. She just lays on the couch. and <laughs> Yeah. So... Um, it's on Amazon and, um, you can check out the exact link in our show notes, but, um, yeah, if you've got a overly smelly situation in your house that involves a pet. Does it work on teenagers too? I haven't tried it. Can you just, as they walk by, give a little spritz, a little mist, (laughs) give a little mist, a little room, room deodorizer. Have to try it out. Catherine, what do you have for us? Well, yesterday we talked about how I cannot floss with regular floss. I have to use the special little flossers, they're called. The little so cute little stick with a little piece of floss on the end. Mm-hmm. Um, and I am extremely loyal to the <laughs> Plackers brand of mm. flossers. Okay. They accept no imitations because all <laughs> the other ones I've ever tried are terrible. They yeah. fall apart. The floss uh-huh. disintegrates within like three teeth. <laughs> like it's not, it's not any good at all. Oh, wow. So yeah, it's got to last use, at least a mouthful, right? Yeah. You have to use the flossers. There's really, I mean, the Plackers brand, really, okay. there's only, that's the only way to go. Um, and there were times they have been hard to find. So I now stockpile. Ooh. Mm-hmm. I currently have 450. <laughs> oh, my word. How dirty are your teeth? <laughs> oh. Well, that will last me a year. But, <laughs> you know, because if I see them in the store, I just grab them because wow. I get very stressed that I'm going to run <laughs> That's like me and my coffee creamer. That's adorable. I'll have to see if so, those are the lacquer. ones. My daughter uses those, I think, because she has like a... Um, permanent retainer, and for that reason, she can't use the regular floss, so they tell her to mm-hmm. use these. Uh, and I know she has, she likes using those, oh. but I wonder if that's the brand I will have to check. No, that's not the brand I use. Uh, well, I kind of use, I haven't really found, I mean, the ones that I do use, I enjoy, but I just kind of get whatever, but I've never tried these. Oh, I'm telling you, they're, they're the only ones that actually work. And one time I got a bad batch, like, <laughs> <laughs> like I, I actually wrote to the company because, <laughs> yes, because I was Serious so disappointed plus. in the quality this one time. Oh. Um, and I was afraid that they had changed the formulation <gasps> or, you know, done something to make them not good anymore. Uh huh. So I emailed them and I was like, I'm very disappointed. These are not good. And, um, and they sent me some free ones. Oh, and nice. I've not had a problem since then. That's so. great. Oh, I'm well. actually surprised that I've never used them in a roundup, roundabout roundup before. Huh. I had to, I checked. It's an integral <laughs> part of your life. Yes. Mm-hmm. Very important. Interesting. 
Terry, what about you, Terry? What do you have? What do you have? Well, as as my co podcasters know, because they hear me blowing my nose in between episodes and coughing before I t- erase it in the recording, I've had a cold for a couple of weeks. One of those colds that you're not quite sick enough to go to the doctor, but too sick to feel like doing pretty much anything else. So I've had, you know, as you get older, things become less easy. Uh, and I had a cold medicine that always worked for me that now I can't take because it raises your blood pressure and I'm on blood pressure medication. So I tried something else and, you know, I think I had a bad reaction to it and had sort of a tantrum, which maybe I just had a tantrum, but I'm blaming the cold medicine. And so, uh, you know, it's like, I don't know what to trust. I don't want to take things with medication in it because I don't know what's going to interact with what, but I don't want to just lay here being miserable. So today I want to just give a little shout out to Luden's Wild Cherry Cough Drops, which are pretty much exactly the same as they were when I was taking them as a child. They're basic, they're comforting, they have no actual medicine in them, but they feel like your mom taking care of you. And uh, uh, so they're, when I was a kid, they came in boxes with wax paper and they had that kind of a little bit of dusty sugar on them and now they're in big bags and wrapped in paper. So there's, you know, they, they, they've, they've grown with the times, but they still taste exactly the same. And I don't know if they do me any good, but they make me feel like something in this world is still safe and consistent and, you know... Mommy, I need a cough drop. So, <laughs> thank you, Ludens, for just keeping that cherry candy wrapped in a medicinal package coming my way. And that is it for another week of Parenting Roundabout. If you missed any of our earlier episodes this week, look them up on Spreaker, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts to hear what we have to say about praising kids, life admin, and things we can't do. You can also find all our episodes at ParentingRoundabout.com and talk back in the comments there on our Facebook page or on Twitter, where you'll find us at Roundabout Chat. And please visit our Amazon shop at Amazon.com slash shop slash Mamatude, where you can find links to a lot of the things we talk about here. Have a great weekend and see you back here on Monday. Bye.